Hello, Alien here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Mesh Central's desktop multiplexer. One of the most important features of Mesh Central is its ability to remotely see multiple desktops all over the internet and can control those computers. Now, what happens if multiple viewers or multiple users want to see the same desktop or the same remote computer at the same time? What happens then? Well, let's take a look at this now. On the left side is the default. In this case, we have three browsers requesting a remote desktop session to a computer. The computer will uh, have a single thread to capture the screen, but it will then send that stream three times to three different browsers through Mesh Central. You'll notice also that uh, not only do we have three times more data to send from the, um, from the original computer, but also the last resolution and quality and scaling command from any of those browsers will take effect. So because there's only one uh, video capture inside the agent, then that the last command will be the one used for setting up the quality. So if you have two viewers that are requesting high quality re remote desktops and you have a third one that requires low quality, the low quality was the last one to ask and therefore everybody gets the lower quality desktop. On the right side, this is where you have remote the desktop multiplexer turned on. And so what happens is that the server plays an active role in the protocol, the remote desktop protocol. It, the server will ask the, the uh, machine here, the remote computer, to send a single remote desktop stream that is the highest quality requested by all of the different uh, browsers. So if you have two browsers with low or medium quality and one that's asking for high, then the higher quality wins and that's the stream that's gonna be sent over to the server. Now, once the server receives that stream, it will keep in memory the uh, uh, basically a full stack of, J of JPEGs, and the stack has to be enough to cover the entire screen, so that if any other viewer comes and joins in, the server can basically catch them up to the ex to the present time and you know the current screen. Now, um, the other nice thing is if some of the browsers are fast and some are slow, well, with the picture on the right here where the, the multiplexer is turned on, the, uh, the slow browsers don't slow down the fast browsers. So the slow browsers may have some JPEG skipping, but and the fast browsers will get all the JPEGs, but the slow browsers don't slow down the, the fast ones. On the left side, if you have a slow browser, uh, because the there's only one capture process inside the agent, it will send the identical stream to all three, but if one of those streams is slow, it will slow down basically the session for everybody else. So the, the drawback on the right side is that the, the server will need more memory in order to keep all those JPEG images in, in real time. As soon as all the sessions are closed, then all the JPEGs in the server are discarded. But, um, but there is going to be a certain amount of JPEGs that the server will need to keep at any given time. So let's take a look at what that looks like in practice. I have my trusty... Uh, that server right over here. I have on the left side uh, Chrome. I have on the right side Firefox. What I'm going to take a look at is I'm going to start by turning off the desktop multiplex option. This is in the settings section of the config.json. So I am going to restart the server and I'm going to restart it here without desktop multiplexer. So we're back online. I'm going to pick the same machine, click desktop on both, hit connect, hit connect. And now we have uh, both machines running at this, you know, both uh, browsers receiving two separate streams from that remote machine. By the way, we can see two watching here. So if uh, you're ever wondering who else is watching those streams, you can click on that and it will show you the other users. In this case, the same user is watching 
both so there's two connections from one single user. Okay, so if for example I go and I, I downgrade my quality to one here, I'm going to start moving and you see that the quality of the picture has degraded on both. And then if this guy on the right selects a higher quality, then he was, he was the last one to ask, and so now he gets the higher quality. But, so, you know, it's not really well coordinated. Okay, it's a little inefficient, not really well coordinated, but kind of works. So now what I'm going to do is go back into my config, turn desktop multiplexer back on, reset the server, <clears throat> and then You'll notice that the web pages auto detect that the server is back online. I'm going to connect here, and I have 50%, so I'm uh, at fairly high quality. And then this one is at 1%, but when it connects, you'll see two things that are interesting. One is that the server caught up this browser to the present time by stacking all the previous JPEG images that, but only the ones that were relevant to get the, the screen back. And then you'll notice that this, the quality is actually at 50%. So even though I'm asking for 1% here, I'm getting the higher quality image. Okay, and then if, um, if I change this setting down to 1%, then both browsers agree to use 1% for the quality. So now we have a, a low quality image. But if I go back to 40% on this one, <clears throat> then both sides now have the higher quality 40%. Now I can disconnect, reconnect, and you can see the stacking happen very quickly. So, um, so What's going on is that when I disconnect and reconnect, there's actually no data being sent from the remote machine. The, um, all the stacking is being done by using data that's in the server, so it's very, very efficient. Um, there's no real limit here that I found for how many viewers can see this remote desktop at the same time when you have a desktop multiplexer turned on. As long as you have bandwidth on the server, you should be fine for uh, how many, you know, 30, 40 um, people watching the same uh, desktop at the same time. Now, another thing I want to mention is that this is especially useful if you have the multi-desktop uh, view here. If you're using that, then what's happening is that you're going to hit connect. And normally, if uh, a manager shows up and, and selects to view lots of desktops at the same time like this, then all the desktops are being requested at a lower resolution. And if you're currently working on a desktop uh, here, then as soon as they connect, it would go down to lower resolution, the lower framework, and so on. But because we have desktop multiplexer turned on, this is not a problem. They don't impact you here. When I disconnect and reconnect, you can see the rebuild happening right there, and, but no impact on, on uh, the quality and no impact on the performance of the browser on the right. So that's super cool, especially if you're using this view while multiple people are uh, working, then desktop multiplexer is really, really good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is a tour of the Mesh Central desktop multiplexer and the ability for you guys to see uh, to have a single stream coming from a computer to multiple viewers at the same time. Thank you very much. Have a great day.